I was out bird watching yesterday and I caught a rare glimpse of the yellow crested micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week's video is also sponsored by Biddlebit. Little bit. I want to thank longtime friend of the show, Bill Wilson, for giving me this cool idea for this automatic bird feeder. Bill tends to go into production mode when he comes up with a project like this, and he makes a bunch of them for friends and family. I used a plastic soda bottle for my seed dispenser. Bill has a great technique for using glass, which he'll show you later in this video. I'm using all scrap wood for this project. I'll start by building the lower frame and the perch. These three plywood squares are going to help make up the roof. I'm going to glue these together now so they'll have time to dry while I work on the rest of the project. I'm drilling a hole on each end of the side pieces for the dowels that are going to be the perch. I'll glue these dowels into place just by putting some glue on them and pulling them into the holes. I've let the glue dry long enough that I think it'll be strong enough to hold it together while I put a screw in on each side. The purpose of this mesh is to allow airflow to the seeds and keep them from getting mold and mildew on them. I'll sandwich this screen in between the blocks. These two squares are going to be the sides. I'm going to tape them together with carpet tape. I'm going to attach this cutting template using spray adhesive. Now I can cut this big chunk down to size. Yeah, it looks like a good fit. So that piece will fit on just like that, but I don't want to glue it on just yet because I want to cut down this 20 ounce soda bottle. I'll save this piece for the rooftop. I'll test this by holding it in place and then dropping this down. It's touching the screen now, so I need to cut about this much off. I think if I were going to make a lot of these, I would make some sort of a jig that I could just turn the bottle over the razor blade to keep it straight. Let me test it out again. Yeah, that looks like a good space. If you want to get real creative with this, I want to show you how Bill's been cutting out glass bottles. He turns the bottle in this V-shaped jig while this glass cutter scores it. Do a scored bottle. Just dip it in the boiling water, hold it, put it in the ice water. And there you go. Free. Whether you use glass or plastic, you can glue it in place using epoxy. Alright, with that epoxy dry now, I can glue this into place. I'm using thinner plywood for the two roof pieces. And this hole is for the filler cap. Now 
I can just glue and tack the roof on. I've masked off the bottle so I can spray paint everything else to give it some protection from the weather. That wasn't too bad. I think if you had a funnel, it might be a little easier to fill it up. That's neat. The last couple of times I've done spots for Little Bits, I've introduced you to the product and I've showed you some basic projects you can make with Little Bits. This time I want to step up my game and introduce you to the Cloud Bit and give you some ideas on ways you can even further automate your bird feeder. I'll make a real simple connection to show you how this works. I'll hook up the push button module and then the Cloud Bit. So whatever Little Bits input module you use here will relay the information to the internet to perform whatever action you want. The best thing is you don't have to know anything about programming. You just use if this, then that. I'll create a recipe by clicking this and scrolling down till I find little bits. For that, I'll select my phone and I'll have it play a song. So you can see how this works. I'm gonna push the button. First, I'm getting a notification. Then it's gonna jump to Google Play and play the song. With all the different input modules Little Bit sells, I can imagine all sorts of cool ways you could automate the bird feeder. You could hook up a pressure sensor or a bend sensor that will send you a notification when it's getting lighter telling you you're running low on food. It may take birds a while to find your bird feeder, so you could hook up a motion sensor that will send you an alert as soon as a bird arrives. As always, Little Bits is offering viewers of Woodworking for Mere Mortals $20 off your first Little Bits kit. Just go to littlebits.com and enter the promo promo code woodworking at checkout. I want to thank Little Bits for continuing to support Woodworking for Mere Mortals and giving me tons of ideas and inspiration and you got to check out the cloud bit. Well I think this will be a nice spot for the bird feeder. I can see it from my office window or the dining room window or even when we're sitting out on the deck. Now I just gotta wait for some birds to find it. I'd like to thank Bill Wilson again for another great idea for the show. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching this week's episode of Woodworking for Beer Mortals. If you'd like to make your own bird feeder, check down below for a free set of plans. And if you're interested in making bird feeders, here's another one you can check out. That little bird feeder has turned out to be one of my most popular projects. Lots of people have made that. Don't forget to head over to fourbeermortals.net where you can post pictures of your own projects and check out what everybody else in the community is making. Plus, I've got tons of free plans for you to download. If this is your first time here, please take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I post fun woodworking projects every Friday on this channel. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next week.